In this video I'm going to show how to set codon positions within Mesquite. We've got a DNA sequence matrix here of a nuclear protein coding gene and some beetles, and uh, it's an align matrix. For align matrices the first thing we would do is take a look at the list of characters, and notice how we have a list of codon positions here that are none of them are set. So to set them what we would do is select all of the characters and then uh, choose this touch on the title there, codon positions, we get a little pop-down menu, one of whose items is set codon positions. Now if we knew exactly that uh, which codon position uh, was represented by the first site in the matrix, say it was codon position one, we would choose this item. If we knew the first site was two, we'd choose this item, but we don't actually, and so we're going to let Mesquite do the work. We're going to ask it to figure out what reading frame will minimize the stop number of stop codons throughout the entire matrix. It just did that and found that this is the uh, reading frame that makes the most sense in terms of minimizing stop codons. And we could go back at the, to the matrix and would see that the numbers of the characters are now colored, with blue representing first positions, green representing second positions, and red representing third positions. We could see the amino acids that are represented uh, by each of the codons by changing the display, if we went to the matrix menu, choose color matrix cells and choose color nucleotide by amino acid, we would now see the nucleotides, uh, the color of the uh, each cell be the color of the amino acid that is represented. Um, to actually see the color of the, uh, what those colors represent, we could go to matrix, no, where did I know. I always remember this one. Down at the bottom here, we've got a little button here, a show hide colors legend. If we touch on that, we see the colors represented by, uh, how the colors represent the amino acids in here. Okay, so that's what we do for, uh, how do we set codon positions for an align matrix to set them for an unaligned matrix. Let's ch turn, close this file. Here's, actually this, these are the same data, uh, unaligned, and we're gonna set it here. So we actually do start the same way. We go to the list of characters. We select all of them. But because there is no, uh, they're all unaligned, we're actually just going to arbitrarily set the codon positions to just 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to go back to the matrix. And we're going to ask Mesquite to adjust each sequence to minimize its number of uh, it's stop codon. So we want as few stop codons as possible for each sequence. But before we do that, actually, let's just have it so that we're displaying uh, by amino acid. So here we've got the colors representing amino acids with the current reading frame for each of the sequences. And we notice some blacks. The blacks are stop codons. Um, so if we were to ask Mesquite, if we go to the alter transform menu and choose minimize stop codons, then what Mesquite's just done, oh, sorry, I forgot. We need to select the matrix first. Um, let's do that again. Uh, alter transform, minimize stop codons. Then Mesquite has shifted each of the sequences one or two or zero uh, positions. We can see that at the start of the matrix now, there, some of them are shifted a little bit to minimize the number of stop codons in each sequence. So now we've got each individual sequence in the right, uh, in its, in the right reading frame. Okay, so um, this is a nuclear protein coding gene. How would we do this if we had uh, a, nuclear, uh, a, a gene that used a different genetic code than the standard one? So let's take a look at some uh, insect mitochondrial DNA. So uh, this is cytochrome oxidase 1 for some beetles, and we want to, these happen to be aligned already. Uh, we want to set the codon positions for these. So let's go back to the list of characters. And before we set the codon positions, we have to tell Mesquite what genetic code is being used. So we go to the columns uh, menu, we choose current genetic codes. You can see that they are currently all listed as standards. I'm going to touch here at the top to select the whole everybody, and then we'll change the genetic code to, oops, it's going off the screen, but it actually says invertebrate mitochondrial, uh, if you can see the rest of it. Uh, and so now they're all set to invertebrate mitochondrial. And now once that's done, we can set the codon positions uh, using the minimize stop codons again. And let's go back here. 
and let's just do that display where we see color nucleotide amino acid and now we've got the uh, each each cell colored by the amino acid that's represented by that by the triplet and that's that that's how you set codon positions within mesquite